Adamian. Now then, he's got a good Cienaghi Adamian. Is he going to go in? Yes, he does. Oh, and he does Kataguruma in the end. See an Aggie into Kataguruma. And that was terrific. Look how he makes a readjustment. Look at that elbow. Look at the drive. And look at the finish. Absolute brilliance there from Adamian. Comes in for the see an Aggie. And he has to make a readjustment. He pulls on the arm. And he drives off the back legs there to get the finish. Adano coming forwards. Got such a nice stance, Adano. Now then, oh, now then, Osoda Gary into Ashiguruma. It was a kind of a mix, wasn't it? That was superb, and he did it off the grip. Yamarashi grip. There's the Osoto Ashiguruma, and what a finish. Brilliant. Well, Inagaki has the sleeve. Look at that. And she's pulling her across now. Oh, what an Uchimata. Very, very different, that one. Because she comes in with a cross grip. And then, well, look how the Italian puts her hand down. And she takes the hand there at the same time operating Uchimata. That was superb. Well, Mackenzie is going to have to attack. Now, oh, and he does. Ochi Gary exploding off that back leg. That was amazing. He explodes off the back legs, controls the back. What an hip on. So tall, Axis. So rangy. Now, Osoto, Kosoto. What a combination. And I said he was rangy. But he did that off the grip. Oso to Gary, Koso to Gary, and what a finish. There it is. Doesn't have a grip, but then when he takes it, he's moving in at the same time. Perez, I'm grateful today. Now is she gonna go underneath? Ipponsianagi! She does go underneath there, and that big long arm coming over the top, she was waiting for it. As it comes over the top there, she comes underneath for the Ippon Cienaghi and rotates all the way through. Ardina has the sleeve, has the arm over the top. Oh, Uchigari, Uchimata. Oh, he used it to lead in for the Uchimata and that was completely standing. Look at the OG, look at the Uchimata and that was all hip and leg. Up to Carly. Ochi Gary, what's he going to do now? It's still game on. Oh, and he picks him up off the floor into the Uchi Mata. It was still game on, and I'm sure his opponent was waiting for the Mate. He goes for the Cienaghi there, waits too long, and he throws him with a beautiful Uchi Mata. Now, they've got to attack these two. Now, they're locked up. What's going to happen? That's going to happen. Oh, Obatori Gaeshi, and that was huge. Look at the pick up there that she gets, and look at the control all the way down to the ground. Arms went over. One of them was going to go. Who was it going to be? Well, Schmidt makes sure it isn't her, and that was huge. Well, not long to go in this match. Esposito almost there. Now looks at the clock. Now what's going to happen? Cienaghi's going to happen. And he runs it through. And this time he lands right the way between the legs and controls it with the arms. But he definitely had a little look at the clock there to see where he was. And he went, right, now's the time. He goes underneath. There's a little bit of hesitation, but then he runs it through there. Look at the Kazushi and the Saruti hand working overtime. And he wins well-deserved gold medal. Grander, having great form today. Former world champion, back to his old form. Now, Sony Sona Kamigoshi! And he goes off the uh, sleeve. He decided to go in, and that was massive. He just went up there, didn't he? Nearly touched the rafters. He attacks first of all, that arm goes underneath the armpit there and he takes him over for a clean hip on. Perez looks ready to go. Ooh, did she break that off with the leg? Oh, wow, what a Diashi Barai that was. That was 
incredible. And she just caught that on the fly. It was one of those techniques. Look at that. Well, it was halfway between a kuriashi and diashi, and she sweeps the feet there, and the hands finish it off, and she is the gold medalist.